buying a major home appliance is an important decision and a big purchase. It's important to know before you go. Make sure you visit www.bigboxappliancereviews.com. It's Factory and Mattress Kingdom, five-star rated, over 5,000 reviews. Guaranteed we beat Home Depot and Lowe's. The nation's largest discount appliance dealer, over 24 stores in three states. Visit us at appliancefactory.com. Hi, Colorado. This is Cleet Crocker. I'm here at Appliance Factory, Mattress Kingdom today. And we had a special request, so, um, you know, this is kind of cool. You are, all of you are welcome to send in comments to us and let us know what you'd like me to review, and I'm happy to do it for you. Now, today's request is going to be a little unusual because we don't actually have this refrigerator on the floor. So we're going to do some movie magic and let you see it, but I won't actually be able to point on it. What I'm going to do is show you something like it. So the request was, what do I think of GE bottom freezer uh, refrigerators? So this is what we call a bottom mount refrigerator, and that's what I believe the uh, commenter was asking about. So as you can see, you've got the freezer on the bottom, and you have the refrigerator on the top. So in general, I want to tell you that I like bottom freezers. I actually think they're a good idea. They tend to be a little bit smaller. So like this one here is a 33-inch wide, where we fit into a 33-inch wide hole, and they go down to 30-inch wide. Uh, this happens to be an LG. We're going to talk about GE. You're going to find that there's pretty good cost savings by going to GE. But um, let me just start at the, uh, the first one and tell you some differences. GE, and I did all these prices based on stainless steel, so they'll probably be a little less if you get white or black. Um, but the GEs, they all have LED lighting, so we're going to compare it here. So LED lighting kind of looks like this, and so it's, it's the most efficient way to light a refrigerator. It lasts a lot longer than the old incandescent bulbs, and uh, so you'll like that. Uh, the, this one here that I'm mentioning, it is their opening price point. It sells for $11.69, and um, it comes with an optional ice maker. So that's something you have to watch out for. Decide up front if you want an ice maker or not. You can always add one later, but it's less expensive to buy it with an ice maker in it. The next one I talk about will have an ice maker in it. Um, and it's got adjustable glass shelf. So it's shelving is kind of similar to this where they have the ridges on the side. You just kind of move it up and down. Um, what I don't like about the entry level, do you see how this one pulls out, this LG pulls out? Well, this first uh, GE I'm talking about, it swings open just like this swings open. So that means to get things out of it, you have to get into your refrigerator to pull out stuff. It's just got shelves inside there. So it's good price, good entry level price, but it's a little bit inconvenience on that. And all the rest of the GEs I mentioned, uh, which are two more, they'll have the pullout like this where you can just reach in and get the stuff you need. So um, like it. Why do I like uh, bottom mounts and also French doors like this here? Uh, the reason is because we spend the least amount of time getting in the freezer and we as a nation spend the most amount of time getting in the refrigerator. So this means I have less bending to do. Most of my things I can do just standing up. That's why we like a bottom freezer. That's why they invented bottom freezers. So let's talk about the next one. This one was a GBE 21 DGK, the one I'm referring to uh, from GE. The next one is the GDE 21 EMK. So the first one was 30 inches um, uh, wide. And this one is going to be 30 inches wide, but the big difference is it has a factory installed ice maker. So, and it also has the pull drawer. And so that one sells for $15.74. So it's just a nicer feature version of what I just mentioned with the pull drawer and the included ice maker, which will be down in the um, bottom freezer. Now we can go up one more um, level, and this would really be the final level. And this final one is the same dimensions in the width as this one. Um, it'll have slightly different uh, height, uh, all three of them will, than we have the LGs, which run a little taller. But the width is 33 inches wide, just like this one. So let's look at the front again, just so you can get an idea of the size version. This is a 30 inch here. This is a 33 inch here. So um, the 33 inch, it has the same features as I just mentioned. So again, those key features are LED lighting, slide in, though it's, it also has a sliding snack drawer. That's a little drawer that will pull in and out here. You'll see that on the picture that's gonna be shown. And then it's got the factory uh, ice maker. All three of them have humidity control crispers. 
um, but this one also has the pull drawer with the ice maker in it. So it's the best of all three because you get more product in it. So the first ones were 20 cubic foot. This one is a 25 cubic foot. Uh, what does that amount to? Well, you know the big 36 inch French door refrigerators or side by side refrigerators? They start at 25 cubic foot. Um, so that's a family size. That's a nice big family size. Its price is $1,709. So do I like them? Yes, I like them an awful lot in the right circumstances, you know, the, depending on the size of your kitchen. Um, one of the things to think about when you, when you go from a side-by-side -side or a French door, look at how short these doors are versus how long this and a top mount refrigerator would be. These doors are a lot deeper. So if you're putting this into a smaller kitchen, you want to look at the specs um, and you can go to appliancefactory.com to get the specs uh, or geappliance.com and find the, the, the depth. And we can assume that it's going to be somewhere around 33 inches or 30 for the others. Um, but does that interfere with anything in the kitchen? So um, that's one of the things we always have to look for to make sure we're not going to be bumping into anything. You're probably okay in most kitchens, but some kitchens have islands where this would become an issue. So that's it. I like it. I recommend it in the right circumstances. Locally, save at appliancefactory.com. Click the link to learn more.